Welcome back everybody, this is One Year 8.5, the first official beta that I'm running on my phone. Yesterday I gave it a full tour with everything reset so it was really like a brand new phone. Great respect to all the members at XDA guys. I was finally able for the first uh, time since a lot of years to join the One UI 8.5 beta. I hope this is gonna work, but right now you can see this is a Samsung members. When I click here, finally I got a message that One UI 8.5 beta um, is here so I can check for software updates. I really hope that this thing is gonna work when a new update is there because else I need to go back to One UI 8 BYK3 and wait for a bridge between the stable One UI 8 to let's say a second or anyway a third release of the beta and i want to show you very quickly how i was able to do this again thanks to all the great guys at xda they came up with this i'm just going to summarize it so basically you're going to need first a few things and sadly you will have to spend some money the first thing we need is an app that is called gmoker the gmoker app is an app that allows you to set a fake gps location this app by the way is free so you can just open the app um what i did by the way as i'm using uk so when you open the app uh, you can just go to somewhere in the uk and then just follow all the guides you can set then your location to uk but something that is very important you need to go inside the developers options and there's going to be something called mock location once you have enabled your developers option you can just search for mock location and it's going to be here select mock location app down below inside the developers option make sure to select the fake gps location the other thing that you need to do and this is the sad part yeah you have to use a good vpn now in my case i was using uh, the one scribe so i have to pay something like eight nine euro for one month probably gonna cancel it after this so we have the gmoker app to set the fake location we're using the wine scribe but then there is another very crucial activity so you need to have a full shizuku running as you can see mine right now is not running so what i need to do is i need to connect my phone to my PC and then via ADB enable Shizuku. It's not always working for me, so I need to revoke all of the USB debugging authorization. Then I will reconnect my phone. And then here again, I'm gonna select not the charging function, oops, but allow USB debugging. And then I'm gonna hit ADB devices. All right, it's there. I'm gonna run the Shizuku activation command. Let's hope that Shizuku will run right now. Yes, you can see it's running. We need to authorize the root activity launcher. This is crucial. Now with the root activity launcher, just open it. Now inside, you need to search for something that is the country selection. All right, so just in type country selection, search components. Now, the mistake that I did the first time was I was going here and clicking this activity from SmartThings. And of course it wasn't the correct one. So you need uh, the activity, but from the Samsung setup wizard. Let me show you, this is it, Samsung setup wizard, country selection. When you select and start this guys, change your location to United Kingdom, then your phone is going to restart. So now, once your phone is restarted, you need to use the fake GPS location, the Gmoker, right? You need to use the VPN and then, yeah, okay, there is another step where you also need to pay some money. You need to buy an eSIM card from Lika UK. I just used the uh, cheapest option. I do believe it was something like two pounds like this. Yeah, all right, you see, there is even like, a better price right now and once you get this right you're gonna get a QR code on your email scan it and install your eSIM so right now guys I'm not using my Wi-Fi network I'm using eSIM and then one last step that you need to do Samsung members up all right just go here don't start it or start it but go here for stop it and make sure to clear the storage everything and then I really cross my fingers that this thing is going to work for you so again we need the Gmoker app this is going to set a fake GPS location you need to make sure that this links back to uk also inside the developers option make sure that this app is selected then you apparently also need to use an eSIM card from lika this works again thanks to the wonderful members at xda that were actually able to discover this you need to activate it some people are saying that you probably don't need to activate it in my case i had to activate it so activate the sim card then find a reliable vpn because i used tunnel by but didn't really work the free one with winescribe connect to a location inside uh, UK and then guys just use Shizuku and Root Activity Launcher to change your country okay if your phone is going to restart don't worry go back 
make sure that the fake GPS is running, make sure you have the EC, make sure that the VPN is on, clear the data and the cache from Samsung members, and then restart Samsung members, and you should be able to see the banner. Again, 100,000 thanks to all the great guys at the XDA that figured this out. I, th I, I didn't really want to believe that this thing is going to work because yesterday I spent some money for a Vodafone VE or Germany eSIM and it didn't work and this frustrated me because I spent some money and then today I spent some more money on Lika UKS SIM and also some money on the OneScribe. So remember when you pay for this VPN, if you want to use this, it's going to be a reoccurring bill. So you need to go into your Google account from Play Store and unsubscribe because next month they're going to bill you. It's like what is like eight, nine euro per month. But I really, really hope that this thing is going to work. Some people are reporting that even joining the beta, they don't have any updates. I don't know because I was already, you know, running on the beta. I really hope that this is going to work in the future. Uh, I restarted my phone now without any VPN, with nothing. It will still give me this, which is kind of cool. Now I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi, see, you know, I really, really hope that I'm going to get all the next updates like this because else the process is not so pleasant i need to use odin to go back from the beta to one ui 8 uh, the latest one the byk3 with losing all my data flashing the cc not home cc and then from there i can use uh, the root activity launcher and then you know side load and then i have to bring on my backup and it really takes hours if you want to check more information go on the xda thread everything is there for now this really seems to work again i really hope that i'm going to be able to get all the next betas like this and in one of my next videos i'm going to do some animation testing with all my backup now put back on the phone and try to see if this thing really works like a charm because yesterday from the very few tests that i did uh, with everything restarted it wasn't that bad so are we finally gonna get like a smooth a one year 8.5 experience we'll have to see but for now this is what we have i really hope that you have enjoyed this video again thanks to the guys at xda amazing people really and yeah this is what the community is for stay safe peace to you over and bye